Hello, I'm Dr. Hilary Jones, brand ambassador to the Eye Doctor, official partners of Huddersfield Town FC, and this is the legend that is Neil Warnock. Very often I'm called a lot worse than a legend sometimes. <laughs> So tell me, how did you first get into management? Uh, I, came, I was coming to the end of my football career. I enjoyed managing and I took a group of young kids up at Hartlepool. They come knocking on my door with a coach them and I took them on the village green. We scored a goal in the first league match we played the following season and I was like a young kid running up and down the line. Because I knew I couldn't get to the top as a player. I was a brainless winger. <laughs> and a quick one, by the way. Yeah. Um, but as a manager, I thought, I've got to, I want to try and do the best I can. You know, my ambition was, when I first set off, to, to manage a team at Wembley to manage my home club Sheffield United and I managed to do that you know so it's been it's a you know I've, I've really enjoyed managing. Look you were born in 1948 yeah right? you have managed over now over five decades right yeah you have got the world record in Britain anyway for the most promotions yeah mm -hmm. uh, which is incredible in itself so it, it's great to be able to hear more about what you're doing now you're pretty renowned for being quite vocal <laughs> yeah with your, with your players yeah. Probably with the fans as well. Yeah. Is that something that you work on or is something that's natural? No, it's natural, really. I mean, one or two of the clips have been on, on YouTube, you know, and uh, <laughs> my daughter tells me, and of course all the young lads now, they've all got this, you've got to die for three points, you know. <laughs> uh, I get that everywhere I go. It's something that I said in one of the videos, you know. Um, and I, I don't think I could ever change. I've always been like that. Yeah. Um, upset a few. It's and it's cost me a few quid over the years. <laughs> same thing. Same what I believed that's in. It. <laughs> um, but it's it's. Uh, I don't. I don't think I can change. That's why I've, I think that's why I've had such a long career. It's really. Because you are just yourself. Yeah. Which is the way you should be. Yeah. Where are the town at the moment? How how are they doing? How are they going to do this season? Well, we survived last year by the skin of our teeth. Really. Uh, I only came in the last 15 games, but I got a great response after initial two really bad results. We had a, a very good response and the lads managed to claw our way out of relegation uh, next to the last game, really. So it was a fabulous end to the season. And then the new owners come in and they asked me, could I just steady the ship, please, while we come, while we get our feet under the table? And I didn't really feel it was right to get another manager in, a young manager or somebody that didn't know the squad because with new owners, I think it just needs a little bit of stability, really. So like us, Sharon, my wife, said, well, why don't you go and help? Why don't you help them then for a bit and get the feet under the floor? And that's what I've done, really. You have. Uh, it sounds like you've got a really good partnership with Sharon because you run things past her and, you know, you, you, you would consent to everything yeah, that you yeah. do. If she was to describe you in three words, how would she describe you, do you think? Uh... I don't really know, really. I don't think I don't think she would mind. She'll mind me saying that she'd probably say you're a silly plonker. <laughs> uh, so I don't, I don't think that's. I don't think that's being rude, is it? That I think that's she might <laughs> use other, other adjectives, but similar to that uh, at times. But now she's been amazing, really. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now you know, going forward, um, you know, where do you see yourself um, uh, at the end of this season and next season? <laughs> Hilary, you're a doctor. <laughs> I mean, I've had also, in the last five, six years, I've had blood clots and you name it, health-wise. I had a, had a brain scan last week. Did you? So only, only little things like that. I, th I think the modern technology is fantastic, me, health-wise. Um, and, you know, we're talking about the eye doctor. Well, I use, I use lo loads of di eye drops and Good. things every day as well. That's that that. got me contacts in. So it's, I think it's, um, it's just a matter of looking after yourself, really. I, I don't look ahead where will I be next year because I didn't think I was going to be managing at football and I think when you get older you don't look too far ahead I think you, what, what I advise I said to the players as well is enjoy today enjoy everything that you get you know um, I lost one of my best well, my best friend in life I'll, he passed away last week and and I think it just brings it home that you have to en enjoy every moment with your family, don't you? Really? I think that's absolutely right. The, the, the day you stop enjoying what you're doing is probably the time to think about calling yeah. it a day. But you're obviously still passionate about yeah. what you do. Yeah. What, what about the, the the greatest highs that you remember as a manager? What what, what, do you, what are the uh, the things that you remember most? Well, I, I mean, obviously, I eight, eight promotions, yeah, and four of those were at Wembley in the playoffs. Uh, to get a team promoted at the stadium in, in the world for me, Wembley Stadium. Yeah. Uh, and then to watch the crowds going home 
from that stadium. We'll never, I'll never forget that. It's been, you know, fantastic. With, you know, all, all the teams, they all remember the, the playoff finals, and and then Sheffield United getting promoted. So, I can't ever say that I pick one. What I love about my promotion teams are when they have reunions. Everybody mixes, and and they're all the same characters, and we have the same laughs. Are you with me? Nowadays, with all the money that's involved, Hillary, with it, with Premier League and that, you know, they kiss the badge and they've gone the next day. They, they, I don't think they'll have reunions like we did. And what about the greatest challenges that you've faced over the years? Uh, I think I think the the challenges are there every every um, season, really. I think it's it's your own personal. Um, you you, you want to do things really f for your own personal, you know. Way I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm hated, you know, the thought of relegation being on your CV and things like that. You know, mm -hmm. it's a, it's one of those that, things that drive drive you on. Um, but challenges, you know, I've had obviously over the years I've had quite a few challenges. But uh, I think, you know, health-wise, I think as long as you've got your health then I think everything else you can take care of. But the, in fairness, the doctors at the football club, they're amazing. Here, uh, we've got a, a lad called Stephen here who's, who's head of the, the medical side. And, you know, I went over to their place in Leeds last week and it's quite fantastic, really. The things that they can do now, when oh, yeah. you... You think by two and I was young. It was a wet sponge, wasn't it? And oh, was, my uh, goodness. <laughs> the ice. If you were lucky. If you were lucky. Where do you see yourself in a year or two's time? Well, I mean, I hope, I'd, I'd like to make sure that, that Huddersfield is safe and then we, we want to enjoy ourselves. You know, we go to Italy quite a lot and, uh, uh, we, we, you know, Sharon loves a dog, Monty. We've got a little Shih Tzu and what have you. So I think travelling's nice. I don't want to go everywhere yeah. just to get away Absolutely. from the, the everything. You know, er, you know, I have to realise on a, on a match day and things like that, you know, I'll probably have about 100 selfies. Do you know what I mean yeah, in, the, in yeah. the game, but I don't mind that because I, I remember when I was a kid at Sheffield United, um, waited for a player for about an hour and it was raining and he ran out of the room and I said, "Can I just have your autograph?" And he ran off. So I'm sorry, I'm late, and I never ever forgot that. <laughs> and I thought, if ever I become a manager or a player or whatever, I'll never turn a, an autograph down. And yeah. I haven't. I haven't done. Sounds like you've got the secret to. Balancing things out, you've got your family, you've got your holidays, yeah. and you're quite selective about how much you take on by the sound of it. I am. The only thing I would say is I've got I've had really great medical experts over the years. That's good to know. And I, like when I was at Cardiff, I had a, a heart specialist called Zahir who, who I still keep in touch now. And, you know, I'll, I'll go and do my jogging and the exercise where he wires me up. I'll do that every other year. And I do my blood pressure every day. I, I keep my eye on things. I, I have a laugh with Sharon because I sneeze and I've got pneumonia. I mean, <laughs> Whereas women don't seem to bother, do they? they? They just get on with it, uh, don't they? Exactly. It's like man flu. It's, yeah. it's always worse yeah, than it. It's 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 yeah, it's 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 Alongside my office, we've got a gym, gymnasium there. Well, we've got two gyms up and down. And I'll go in probably three times a week and I'll do an hour and a quarter. I do, I've got a certain routine. I do 20 minutes on the stepping machine, 20 minutes on the bike, um, 400 sit-ups uh, with a medicine ball, and wow. then I go and do my thighs downstairs on the weights. How often? And the lads, three times a week at that's least. Yeah, and, uh, but I also always make sure the lads see me, because I have a, <laughs> I put my headband on, because I sweat, <laughs> and a wristband, and I go in, and I know they all laugh, because even all the clubs where I've done it at, they've all laughed at me doing it. But I, but I enjoy I don't like sweating, so I, I put that on and I go and I do a really good workout. But you know, you feel so much better oh, for it. Do. Up here is just as important, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I do read three or four newspapers a day. Yeah. I know you can get them online, but I enjoy going in the shop, Look having a chat print. with the chap, and yeah, you're and one the, of the few left. Yeah, reading and print. I do, and yeah. I enjoy doing that. And I think that just keeps me my, my mind ticking over, even reading, you know, things like that. Yeah. Um, and and. Any, anything I can do health-wise, um, you know, sometimes if I find myself drinking too much, which is easy done in football, yeah. Um, yeah. we've got a sponsor, one of our sponsors, a non-alcoholic lager in that, you know, so I, I have a crate of that, you remember, I'll have Perfect. a non-alcoholic week. And no doubt you're passing some of these gems, uh, this knowledge and experience onto the players as well, you're sharing it. Yeah, them. but nowadays, Hillary, the players, they have everything you can wish for, nutrition-wise, psychology, uh, they have everything so 
it's the player has to be driven himself. If they want to get to the top, they have to be. They have to have that five percent more. And I think you know we've come back from training this season, a pre-season four weeks ago. I have never had a team as fit that's come back before. That's great. Ah, oh, I, I was absolutely gobsmacked. It, it sounds to me like you've got your work balance sorted out, and and you've got all the ingredients for a happy life. Would you say so? Yeah, I think so. I think um, I think what, you know when as you get all the things happen. You know, um, my best mate uh, Paul Evans, he passed away last week, and I think when something like that happens, you grasp it again, don't you? I have to do. You've got to do what you want to do. And, Absolutely. And treasure every day. And I said that to the kids, and, and we try try and do that. And I do enjoy the management side. I like coming in here. Because uh, I'll take the mickey out of the players. Oh, I'm sure they'll take the mickey out of me behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> Call me all sorts. <laughs> but I do enjoy the rapport. Yeah. Getting a team spirit, build, building a team spirit from like last year, relegation to safety. And now if we can stay up this year and, and build and move forward, it will be a real good... I'd like to leave them in a good place. Well, I'm sure you are. You're in a good place. Your family's in a good place. The team's in a good place. Neil, it's been an absolute pleasure to yeah. you. Yeah. I've learned a lot of more about you. I've you followed your career all these years. But don't believe everything you hear. No, I won't. <laughs> Only the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Brilliant.